Hello Aquarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. For those of you who are interested in the holiday special, it's a telephone reading for 10 minutes and so it is 25% off at this time. So, and I want to welcome everybody. Let's jump into your reading here, Aquarius. We have the overall energy from spirit broken open. Ooh, your heart chakra is open. You are in a time of feeling like your heart is getting its wish is is being granted roots of abundance aquarius aquarius many of you have made big moves recently and we see abundance coming with this very open creative energy from the heart oh great big love oh my heart just bursts when i see this this is one of my favorite 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 oracle cards two and six is eight stability great big love coming your way. I think it's already there personally, but I think that you're about to learn more about it. Oh goodness. Aquarius, Aquarius. I am broadcasting from Chicago and I love to hear where everybody is watching from. I do answer comments. So please share with me. It is, I love to communicate with all of you. All right. So we have the energy. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of the Ten of Swords. So sometime in the past, you have really left a situation. Could be a job, could be communication, could be something that just made you feel defeated. So we have that energy is an energy now that, you know, you're releasing that because we can see all of this beautiful flow here. That whatever happened here, you've already transcended uh, with your open heart chakra into a lot of new growth. So the King of Pentacles is the energy between you between you and a beloved. That is Taurus energy. That is a major stability. That's a father, the daddy, the husband. I, I said father and daddy, but, you know, they're kind of different. <laughs> so we see this very beautiful energy of King of Pentacles energy with you and your beloved. Very stable energy, Taurus energy. We see the current mutual energy is the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks as though you've been together a while because we have all of this stability. And we get the Knight of Pentacles, which is the very slow moving Knight of the Zodiac, but we have transformation here. Usually the Knight is the one that becomes the King of Pentacles. So you may have a very stable relationship that you haven't formalized yet, but you probably will. So we have, oh my gosh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the way your person sees the relationship with you is one of great fun, great passion. Um, but we see people with armor on here. So we don't, you know, these are the, this is a one deck that shows the Knight not really ve revealing much in the way of what's going on inside. But this is shared energy. Your person feels very passionate about you. The way they view you, Aquarius, the Ace of Pentacles, they see you as their end-all, be-all. They see you as the most absolutely precious, valuable potential of their life. The Ace of Pentacles is real. I shouldn't say potential. That's the wrong word. But the Ace of Pentacles is they see you as an amazing, amazing value in their life. You're someone who gives so much that, that they enjoy so much. They just see you as like the golden coin that they hold up, that nobody ever matches who you are. In their heart space, we have Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, isn't that energy? Isn't that interesting? We have Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So there is a very strong nurturing element that your person gives you, Aquarius. They have a very strong ability to be very reliable for you. The Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy, Earth sign energy. Um, Knight of Wands is Sagittarius energy. We have Virgo and Taurus. Very strong. You have a trifecta here of Earth sign elements. All of the Earth signs are present with the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a tremendous amount of stability. How they view the situation or the relationship going forward. Six of Swords, healing. So there is something here that must have happened in the past. 
You know, that can be as simple as an argument or coming to a crossroads in your lives together. Six of Swords says it looks like many of you may have physically moved with your person. For many of you, I read this as maybe a live-in relationship that hasn't culminated in marriage because it, all of this King and Queen of Pentacles energy is a marriage-like energy. When we look at what's hidden between the two of you and your energy, Three of Wands, your ship has arrived in the harbor. I love it. I love the way she's looking forward to the future and the magic. The ship is surrounded by starry nights, a glow of passion, a glow of happiness and joyfulness. Spirit is recommending to you, Seven of Cups, that you stay in a very soft energy. Don't make any decisions yet. Whenever you do make a decision, make sure it's the right decision because I do. The Seven of Cups is an energy that says be contemplative. You know, think very carefully about what you want to do. You have different aspects that you need to look at carefully before making a full-blown commitment. And the short-term outcome of your relationship reading at this time is a moon card. So you may be dealing with a Pisces because this Pisces energy is here twice. So we're going to go ahead and clarify because that's where the magic comes in in a reading. Usually opens up a lot more information for us. So I just want to say how much, how exciting the Aquarius journey has been. It's a very exciting journey that's going on for you, Aquarius. It's been going on for a few years now. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What happened to bring about this feeling of utter defeat that you left behind? Okay, it looks like for many of you, you were not able to manifest something that you wanted. The Wheel of Fortune. We get the Wheel of Fortune as Sagittarius energy. It's sort of sometimes it's just a, an unlucky break. The Ace of Wands. So it looks like you really did put some energy into a relationship. The Hermit card reversed. Looks like you were dealing with somebody who was not seeking any enlightenment. The Hermit card reversed is um, an energy of just almost thoughtlessness in terms of a person you were dealing with, which I feel, I feel like they hurt you. The Innocence of Cups, there may have been children involved. There may have been some other consideration where you didn't feel like top priority. The movement of wands. Now we see the movement of wands here twice. So that's uh, concerning. But we do see soulmate energy between the two of you. So we're going to look at this. Why is a king of pentacles energy here for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Justice card. Balance. Marriage. Wedding. You know, marriage certificates. Renting a house together. Owning a home together. Stability. But it is a very much... An agreement to be in a relationship in which you have legal ties together. Libra is the Libra, you know, that's Libra energy. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Why the slow movement? But slow but steady, Virgo energy, very practical. <gasps> Beautiful. You have the Strength card. Leo, fiery, passionate, reliable, fire in your belly for each other. Traveling this road together for, I think, a very long time. So why do we have Knight of Wands? We've had Knight of Wands here twice. So why is the Knight of Wands here for how your person views the situation? They either view you as a person who isn't ready to commit, who's just out there having fun, or they view themselves that way. So let's look into that Three of Swords. Hmm. All right, so the Knight of Wands with the Three of Swords. Universe card, okay. So for some of you, you may have a situation in where, in, you know, to the point here of a person who, with whom you've been having a relationship who may have, I'm not, this is not going to be for everyone, who may have had some sort of communication or some sort of indecision about you and another person. The Three of Swords could even go with that Ten of Swords as being a possible betrayal that has ended. And that both of you, yeah, it has ended. Okay, so we get any sort of player energy has ended, but it does look like it was painful with that Ten of Swords. 
Six of Swords healing the relationship. Six of Swords healing the relationship moving forward. I don't feel like both of you, I don't think that you were married to this person because we get this night energy, but it does look like there was some sort of feeling that the relationship needed to heal some, some sort of old wound discovery. It could even be somebody from the past that your person has had heartbreak about. Six of Wands energy, beautiful winner, winner, chicken dinner, making your relationship very public, wanting to be seen as your person. So part of what may, what may be happening here is that your person doesn't feel like you've chosen them because they feel as though, you know, if they didn't if they don't sort of go along with the relationship the, with what your needs are, that they may feel as though they would be left behind. So I don't see that as a perfect third party situation. It could be just that you had to make a move, you had to move forward, you had to make some adjustments, and that they would have lost you. Um, if they had not moved with you. They clearly love you. Look at this energy. The Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. They absolutely, absolutely love and adore you. That's happily ever after. Pisces energy. Very powerful love energy. Why is the Six of Swords here twice? The Innocence of Wands. That's a Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is somebody who is maybe emotionally less advanced but it is just simply throwing caution to the winds throwing caution to the winds embracing the double six of swords here uh, leaving something that was unsatisfying behind for many of you these are moving cards literally moving to a different destination and feeling excited and joyful about, you know, leaving some difficulty behind. So I do read this. I also see this as a travel card as a person who traveled for a living internationally. The Eight of Cups meant, well, leaving home and then returning. So, but it does look like the two of you have left something behind. That's how they see the relationship. The Seven of Cups says that they're unsure about what the outcome is going to be in this relationship but the nine of cups you are their wish fulfillment they love you they want happily ever after what i'm actually seeing aquarius is your person may be very uncertain about how you feel about them there may there may be the feeling that you know that that where you've been in the past was painful wherever that happened to be Okay, the Three of Wands is looking into the future, the Tower card, okay. So there was something that happened out of the blue that came as a requirement to make a choice and you chose each other. Again, something that happened very rapidly. And I'm going to say straight up, your Aquarius readings have been very consistent. It looks Aquarius like you significantly have been one that has left some sort of career opportunity behind. You've had a partner, and I really feel that many of you are highly invested and that you actually got the chance to make the move that you wanted to make in your career uh, so that you could invest more. Again, this creative, you know, sort of breaking of the heart, breaking open of the heart chakra, opening it up, and this, um, you know, the, the room, this abundance, roots of abundance. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Five of Wands. Okay, so there is something going on here. I'm not, you know, it looks as though this relationship isn't totally settled. Spirit is telling you that there's competition, the heart of wands can indicate another woman to be perfectly honest so that is the energy that is coming out take it as it resonates it won't apply to everybody this is like a buffet table when you look at a general reading uh, the moon card here what is hidden you take what yours off of a potato buffet table and leave the rest the spirit of swords energy that's your energy aquarius the moon card so there may be some uncertainty about feelings or a desire to be committed. I'm really getting the feeling that marriage has been a topic here and that your person may want it more than you, Aquarius. I'm getting the sun card, great happiness in the relationship. The sun and the moon, you know, good yin-yang energy. But it does look like you're advancing. An offer is made. It looks as though your person may have been very heartbroken feeling that you had somebody else or worried 
but I get that, you know, you're going to know what what belongs to you and what doesn't. So sending you love from Chicago, send some back. Tell me where you're from, Aquarius, and hope to see you in another reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.